Hello everyone. In this lecture today, uh, we will solve more problems in Henderson Hasselbalch equation. The first question we have is the pH of a solution containing lactic acid and lactate ion is 4.3. The concentration of lactic acid and lactate ions are 0.02 and 0.073 respectively. Calculate the pKa of lactic acid. Okay. So this is a problem in Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So how we will solve it? Okay, what we have, we have the con the pH of the buffer containing lactic acid and lactate that is 4.3. And what else we have? We have the concentration of lactic acid, or simply concentration of lactic acid, lactic acid. For this, simply we can write concentration of acid HA which is uh, zero, yes, zero point zero two, and the concentration of lactate ion, right? So concentration of lactate ion, okay? Concentration of lactate ion or the lactate. Simply, we can write this as a minus in henderson hasselbalch equation, which is uh, zero point zero seven three, okay? This has been given what they have asked. They have asked us pKa is equal to what? And what we know? We know that from the henderson hasselbalch equation, pH is equal, to, is equal to pKa plus log, okay, A minus divided by HA, okay? This is what we know from henderson hasselbalch equation. So what we need to find out? We need to find out pKa. So then select so pKa will be equal to pH minus log okay this is A minus divided by HA right so this yeah so what we know now we can put the values we have the values for pH so pKa will be equal to what is the value of pH that is 4.3 minus and log minus log from here right so this is yeah minus log so a minus concentration is 0 0.073 so it will be 0 0.073 divided by and what is the concentration of uh, HA that's 0 0.02 so which is 0 0.02 okay so pKa is equal to 4.3 minus log okay when we divide 0, 0.0 when we divide 0 0.073 by 0 0.02 uh, we will have log uh, 3.65 okay so it will be 3.65 Okay, 3.65, so basically 4.3 minus log, uh, 3.65 is 0 0.56. If you put this in scientific calculator, you will get 0 0.56 and 4.3 minus 0 0.56 will be 3.74. Okay, so basically pKa, pKa. So the answer to this question is 3.74 okay now moving to another problem another question that we have is that the what is the ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactic ions required to prepare a buffer with pH 5.2 the pKa of the lactic acid is 4.76 so what has been given guys we have been given pKa pKa of lactic acid is 4.76 this we know already and the pH we have also been given pH pH is equals to 5.2 and what they have asked they have asked what is the ratio of concentration okay so ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactic ions okay so that this is the question we have okay so we need to find out the ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactic ions. So to solve this problem, what we can do, uh, we can do is like this. Okay. So basically, uh, 
we will write this Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So Henderson Hasselbalch equation is PS is equals to PKA plus log okay A minus divided by HA concentration. This we can write and we know the value of pH so the pH will be uh, 5.2 we can put 5.2 and we also know the value of pKa pKa is 4.76 and plus log okay so a minus divided by HA right so then uh, okay then what will happen so the next step is that log a minus divided by HA concentration is equals to that means 5.2 minus 4.76 so which is 5.2 minus 4.76 will be equal to how much so let me use the calculator 5.2 and 4. Point, so 5.2 minus 4.76 so it will be 0 0.44 so which is actually 0 0.44 okay so then a minus concentration and h a concentration this to get the value of this ratio it will be anti log anti log of what this 0 0.44 okay the anti log of 0 0.44 anti log of 0 0.44 is equal to anti log of 0 0.44 is equals to uh, 2.75 2.75 okay so the ratio of uh, the, what is the ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactate ions okay ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactate ions so basically the ratio that we have here is the ratio of concentration of lactate ions and lactic acid okay so this is 2.75 uh, but what they have asked is that we, we just need to flip this up this one has to go up and this one has to go down and if we don't have anything so we have one underneath so the ratio of concentration of lactic acid so acid this part here is acid so it will go if we take it up so it's a divided by a minus it will be so one will go up one divided by 2.75 so basically 1 is to 2.75 so this will be the ratio but if they had asked us what is the concentration what is the ratio of concentration of lactate ions lactate ions and lactic acid then the an answer would have been 2.75 but they have asked us what is the concentration of lact the ratio of concentration of lactic acid and lactate ions so 1 by 2.75 will be our answer okay so now moving to another problem guys so the final problem we have is this so the ka of uh, ka of scn is 6.2 times 10 to the power minus 10 if there is a solution of two molar hydrocyanic acid what concentration of sodium hydrocyanate is needed in order, in order for the ps to be 9.2 okay that we have to calculate the concentration of for sodium hydrocyanate okay let's see what we have we have ka ka is equals to 6.2 times 10 to the power minus 10 we have this and what we have we have the concentration of hydrocyanic acid so the concentration of hydrocyanic acid or simply this can be written as concentration of acid that's a in um, our henderson hasselbalch equation which is 2 molar 2 molar and what we have and pH pH is 9.2 and what they have asked they have asked what what concentration of sodium hydrocyanate is it required so basically they have asked what concentration of NaCN or simply A minus from our Henderson Hasselbalch equation is required so this is our question to solve this question we will apply Henderson Hasselbalch equation so which states that pH is equals to pKa plus log okay plus log a minus 
divided by so basically this is H A so this is this and so pH we have pH which is 9.2 and pKa how do we have pKa we have Ka so Ka how, how to calculate pKa pKa is minus log Ka plus log a minus so we don't know what is log a minus but what we know is that the concentration of uh, acid is 2 molar 2 molar this we know okay so now further so uh, what we can do now is we can put the value of ka so then if we put the value of ka so what it will be so let's see and uh, 9.2 is equals to minus log ka so it will be 6.2 times 10 to the power minus 10 and uh, plus log okay a minus concentration divided by 2 okay so and what we can do then we can do like this um, so simply we can do that log uh, this uh, okay so so um, minus log 6.2 times 10 to the power of minus 10 and so this value uh, will be a how much this value will be okay so this value um, minus 6.2 times 10 to the power of minus 10 okay so this will be and so we can draw a picture which uh, okay 9.2 so basically 9.2 so minus log 6.2 this is also 9.2 plus log a minus divided by 2 if we if you put this value in your scientific calculator this turns out to be 9.2 okay so 9 point so then uh, so 9.2 minus 9.2 is equals to log a minus divided by 2 so or so you know or or simply or what will happen then is that we will have so this will be equal to what we can do then this log this is 0 is equals to log uh, a minus divided by 2 simply so uh, then if we, if we want to get rid of log so anti log of 0 anti log of 0 is what 1 as you know so it will be 1 that is divided by a minus concentration divided by 2 or simply a minus concentration that's the concentration of a minus that is equals to uh, 2 molar okay so as a result so the concentration how much of what concentration of NaCN would be required so the, the concentration of NaCN or sodium cyanate required is 2 molar so this is the answer of this question okay guys very simple so I hope uh, this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Please subscribe our channel for more contents.